Good afternoon, everybody. It's Captain Jesso, and we've got a bit of a surprise flash video today. Uh, not quite the big clickbaity YouTuber, oh my god, face going crazy video, but we still need to talk nonetheless. And this is not the forbidden list we're waiting for, but it is a forbidden list that we're going to get and we're going to talk about. It's free YouTube content. You gotta get that clickbait while it's hot, right? Um, and it's the OCG forbidden list has updated, so it is effective from October 1st. Now, I want to talk about this, even though the OCG is not the TCG, I still want to talk about it because it has a couple of potential implications maybe on the TCG. Remember Dryden to everybody, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And right off the get with get go, without further ado, you kind of have the spoilers already. First of all, they're big forbidden, so they have the FDA calamities on, and the big one is Mystic Mines. So calamities we were kind of expecting. It's banned in the TCG. It is an absolute power horse, um, and it was definitely not welcomed when it was here. Nobody liked True King of All Calamities. But, I digress, it's gone now from the OCG, it's now gone from the TCG. But the big one, the big one, the big one is Mystic Mine. And I don't know whether to feel sad about it, or to cheer it on for healthy, great card games. Um, it hurts a little bit, because I, I am a bit of an Exodia fan, a little bit, just a tiny bit. And I also like slower Yu-Gi-Oh, but I definitely understand why this card is banned. People have been calling for Mystic Mind to be banned for a long time. I'm curious to see if that happens in the TCG, because realistically, it's just a don't play kind of card. It's basically you slap it down, and you know the the other opponent's not playing very good or a lot of you know back row removal. Well, too bad you can't play. So. Um, do we think this is going to get banned in the TCG? I, by the way, have a prediction list coming up. Do we think that's an indication? I mean, if Dryden't last list was a good indication, because Dryden't, of course, was banned as of, you know, the last ban list in both the OCG and the TCG, I mean, it's possible. People have been calling for Mystic Mind's head for a long, long, long time. This is a long time coming, so... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that one. There's going to be a lot of people celebrating and cheering, especially over on that end, and, and there'll be a lot of people celebrating and cheering if this does happen in the TCG. Like I said, this is just the OCG ban list, so we're only using this as a... God knows. Um, on to other news. So, limited. We have Gamma and Zeus. Now, those are two huge ones because those are two pretty big staples in the current TCG metagame. Uh, of course, Gamma being probably one of the best hand traps in the format, right behind things like Ash Blossom, uh, and Called by the Grave, of course, uh, to shut down because it, if I remember correctly, um, this, here's my lack of knowledge from the, but it negates and destroys it. Apparently in the OCG, this was a pretty big issue because of that, um, because of their format. So it's pretty interesting to see Gamma gone down to one. But the big one is Zeus. Like I said, a huge staple. Everybody throws it on their end board. Build Zeus, make Zeus, whatever you, you know, whatever your deck is, at the end of the day, your end board is make Zeus. I think realistically it's okay putting it to one. I mean, it's not that big of an issue in the TCG that, um, you know, that it's not a groundbreaking TCG breaking, you know, uh, monster. Dragoon anybody? Um, but at the same time, it does make it a lot easier to handle when you're only dealing with one on an end board, whether, you know, instead of having cases where sometimes you'll know, you'll see two on an end board. Again, I don't think that's like groundbreaking. People are still probably going to play this uh, at one a lot. Um, I don't expect Konami to touch this, being that it's going to be in the tins. By the way, we're going to do a tin reprint video at some point. Maybe I'm too late, but um, I don't know. I think that's pretty fair. If I'm going to go for reaction on that one, I, that that's fair. It, it It's a beast. You've neutered it at one. One is fair. People are still going to play it at one as far as I'm concerned. Gamma, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal in the TCG. I don't think we'll see that happen in the TCG. I think it's a fair hand trap. I don't think you're going to see many issues with Gamma still being in the format. That's my opinion. Um, Semi-limited. Now, we've got, first of all, Soul Eating Over Raptor. Now, I should be clear that... Uh, both that and Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon came back from 1 to 2. Um, this is one thing I do like is the OCG uses a semi-limit a lot more than TCG, and I think TCG should be using it as well. It just cuts down consistency a little bit, right? Um, so again, Oviraptor, I don't think you're going to see Dino in the TCG getting any actual hits. Um, Dino's already been neutered now as it is with Miss going to 1. It's just not really that great of a deck anymore. Once you get rid of Miscellaneous Auras, you're kind of you're kind of gone. 
I, I don't know about dinos in the TCG. Obviously, Oviraptor was at one. Obviously, they don't think the dinos is that big a threat. They pulled Oviraptor back to do. I don't think that's a big deal. It gives a little more consistency, but that's all it is. Darkness Metal Dragon's an interesting one. They're testing the waters with that one at two. Uh, it's at one currently TCG. This was at one before, so they're actually upping it um, in the OCG. I, I don't know. It, it's a really good card. It's an easy presence to get it very quickly. It you know you're pretty much a, an instant link two off of this guy as long as you have something on the field. So I, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think it's that broken, but maybe I could be wrong. I guess the OCG will either prove it or disprove it, uh, putting it at two. But the big one here, the big two actually, Pot of Desires to two. It's crazy that when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you had your Pot of Greed, your free draw two. Now you have to go to lengths. You have to take risks just to get a draw two. And I think the reason for the Desires, specifically only the two, uh, was peop was Gren Maju FDKs, I think was the biggest issue. Uh, being able to basically drop three, it just gives a little more consistency. Taking it down the two just, again, just hits it a little more for consistency. Decks like Grand Maju that, that would use it, uh, or, or, you know, a few other decks that might use it may not see it come up as much. Obviously, we know how big that draw two power is in Yu-Gi-Oh, so. But x still back. I think this is, it, it has to be Grand Maju is why they would have to limit that. I, I or semi-limit, I guess. I don't know the OCG format that well. I Like I said, you know, whether we'll see that translated to the TCG, I don't think so, because if it was because of Grand Maju, that's what people have been saying. Grand Maju's not that good of a deck in TCG. It's rogue at best. Let's all get honesty. But the big one, the big one we've been waiting on and holding up on is Crossout Designator, a card that we don't even have in the TCG yet. Mega Tens, where are you at? Going down to two. Obviously, this has been a three of in just about every single deck in the current OCG meta. It is an incredibly good shutdown card. You can shut down literally any card in anybody's deck at any time as long as you have it. So, obviously, they felt it was a little bit too good, but not good enough to limit or ban. Uh, so, they're going to take it down to two. I'm curious to see how this handles. Again, I don't think we'll see that become an instant two in the TCG. Um, they'll play it at three until they realize that they just can't play it at three. Last page, we have um, basically anything that came off the list. So Danger Nessie is an interesting one. Obviously, Danger cards, people have been saying that Danger for a while can come off, can see a little more play. It's not as consistent as people think it is. I, I don't know. I guess the OCG will either prove or disprove that how good, you know, pulling Dangers off is and, and having a, a stronger Danger core. I, I, I don't know. Um, it, that's one to be argued. Solemn Great Circle is the next one. People have been screaming hollering yelling for this to come to three in the tcg it is currently one uh, at one of the tcg so a lot of people wanting that back uh, back to three um, we've already seen bay links i think come back in the last ban list so no he was he Leo? i i can heat leo yeah uh already come back in the last tcg ban list why not put it at three let's make selling rates great again why not right um <laughs> yeah uh mind control the three um we have this at one in the tcg yeah mm -hmm. uh, i don't know that's a that's a questionable one um think about it it's a free change of change of heart change of heart's banned the only reason that you know mind control is at one in the tcg and change of heart isn't banned because mind control you can't attack with it uh but still that's still stealing a you know a, an enemy's monster and it's a you know it's a it's a free uh you know uh, pretty much a free plus one and ten you what a what a combo play you want to do whether it's like you know if you want to link off or you know z's or whatever so that one's questionable but i want to find out um not that this makes a big big deal but does this does mind control target because that makes a big difference does mind control target Here's my lack of knowledge coming in. By the way, you can see the page. I was looking at Pendulum Call, which is another one that's in there. Uh, Pendulum Call, by the way, is another one that went to three. I don't think anybody cares. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, mind Control. It does target. It clearly says target one monster. So, I mean, it's targeting. It's the weakest form of selecting, if you will, or, or you know, the weakest form of, of, of that kind of deal. I don't know. That's probably the, you know what, I'm going to say this right now. I think Mind Control the 3 is the most questionable one on this list. Especially, like I said, when you've got cards like Change of Heart that are absolutely, you'll never see that come back. The only difference is with, you know, 
yeah, can't, can't attack or can't be tributed. Well, you're not going to tribute something you're taking with mind control. In this current meta, you're going to link it off. You're going to Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-